Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Make your PayHub store uniquely yours in 2023. This tutorial will show you how to personalize your store's appearance from branding to design to create a distinctive and engaging shopping experience for your customers. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. Obviously guys, the first thing that you will need to do is head up to payhep.com. Right after that, you will need just to open your dashboard. Here, as you can see, there is this customized store design. And this is what you are going to talk in this video. So make sure to click on this icon. And from that, click on customize the design, as you can see in this button. So by clicking on it, wait until the page builder opens, and there you go. So let's start talking about everything step by step. On the left, you will find your pages and how does it look like. So obviously the first thing that you will have is the header and each section is separated than the other. So the header, as you can see in front of you, it exists the logo and the menu pages, the search button and add to cart button. And this is what you have. As you can see, the store logo, the navigation links, header settings, announcement bar, and the elements. So for the navigation links, as you can see, click on edit navigation links, and you will be able to remove or add or change this menu. By adding a new link right here, you can even make it take you to another page that doesn't even relate to PayHap accounts or to your store. Here, after you finish, make sure to click each time to apply the changes so you can save them. So, for example, I'm going to add a new link which will direct us to Google. If I want to write here, I can just type any link that I have in mind and save it. Or, I can simply take them to another page. So, let's give it a name and let's link it to the home page. So, home open link in a new tab and add navigation link then it will be appeared here so now we have to bring this home button or this home link into the beginning simply by going into here drag this and make it to the top you can even make it as a sub menu but for now let's keep it as a top here after that click on apply changes Save changes and the saving is loading and then make sure to click on publish. Just like that, the edits that, that I have made or the changes that you've made to your store have been published by now. So if I went and visited my store, here it is, home button is actually existing in my page. Now let's go back and continue the editing. Click on back and let's try to change something else. Let's go to the store logo. What if I want to use an uh, image instead of text? Just by going to here, go to downloads and let's choose for example, PayPal logo as our store logo. Click on choose this image and as you can see, it has been replaced. Now to make it bigger or smaller, just drag this logo height and it will change the size of the image. You can even use different logo for the devices, as you can click here and change the logo for the mobile app. Now let's keep it as it is and click for example on save changes and once more click on publish so you can publish the new, new things that you have made. Here if I want to back and I want to do announce bar, I will click on show announce bar so you can see it. It will be appear right below here or top and you can write anything as an example. Um, discount 50% on all products, plug Friday events, or something like that. You can add emojis and then change it and then publish it. So this is how it works basically in general. Then here if I went back, there is the header settings, the announcements and the elements. The elements is basically the cards and the search. Either, either if you want to show them, 
to make them visible or to hide them. It is completely up to you. So let's keep them both on because why not? And then here show call to action button instead of that and then it's gonna take you to the button link which is gonna take us to all products. Shift changes and once more click on publish. Continue editing. Go to back, head up to the beginning and here we're going to go for the collection. The collection is basically the product that you own. So here the same thing for these you can drag them and they will be changed. As you can see they have changed the order of these elements. Now let's try to change something into this collection. So here how many numbers of product do you want to be shown in one line? How many columns if you want to be specific? If you want to show the price or not? So let's keep it on. The aspect ratio, how, how, by, how big or small do you want it to be? I want it to be adapted. So, so I want it to adapt to my website settings. We can even make it three so it's become more bigger or five and it will be much smaller. For the spacing, it depends on how much spacing you'd like to have. For me, I'm just going to keep it between the 50s. Here we go. And here we can change the background color, uh, add a color scheme, uh, make it dark, make it light, make it blue. We can even change the color through here. As you can see, just wait, click on edit, hit the highlight, and here you can change literally everything. So let's click here and edit that and let's change it to something like red um yeah this is bad let's keep it as it was at the beginning so i'm going to keep it as white as i can <laughs> it can be or let's keep it as gray like that all right and then let's save the changes and now we have edited the second layout of the page now for the about me you can change it as well so by clicking here, we can replace the image. You can even move the center of the image where you want the uh, image to be located. So exactly, for example, I want it to be looking here so it will move, as you can see. Uh, I want the angle to be more down over here. And yeah, this is basically how it works. Here you can change the text of about me, as you can notice. So this is the about me text. You can change it all, edit it, or even remove it if you want. You can also remove the background, edit the colors of it, and do whatever you think of. And finally, again, save changes and then publish it. Let's go back and continue editing. Here you can edit the footer. And by the end here, you can even change the style. You can add five icons, the color, the fonts, the button size, the theme, and the cookie banner. And if you want to have any more advanced options, you can click here and you will be really uh, having everything advanced. Like you can use coding to change anything in the website itself. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. That's how you can change or edit your store on Payhap. I hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial.